Hello, I'm Enrico De Pauli, and this is the Meek Secrets TV on YouTube. So the other day, somebody sent me a message um, asking if YouTube really lowers audio when you publish a music video. So if you want to know what, what YouTube does, stick to the end of the video and we'll talk all about it. So we're back and YouTube works at minus 14 dB LUFS, LUFS. What's LUFS? That stands for Loudness Unit Full Scale. And it's somewhat like um, RMS metering with a few differences. Uh, LUFS adds a little bit of filtering to make the sound closer to how our ears perceive it. Loofs adds a gate uh, in order to be able to measure a full-length song or even a full-length movie. Um, Loofs adds a gate so it keeps out all the silent or very low-level uh, material that would bring the average of the long-term measurements uh, lower to, to what the actual loudness of the program is. So YouTube makes all its music, all its uh, audio program at minus 14 LUFS. Now, if you send audio, if you publish a video to YouTube that your audio on the video is even lower than minus 14 loops, YouTube will not bring that level up. Keep that in mind. If you record really uh, low uh, sounding material, it will sound really low. YouTube will not, you know, bump the uh, volume up. Another thing to keep in mind is, which is really good, YouTube will not bring your audio down dynamically. So you upload a music video and YouTube will take a measurement of the full video long-term, a long-term measurement, loops measurement, and it will bring down the volume of that program to aim at minus 14 loops. So let's say you upload a music video that your volume was minus 10 loops. YouTube will bring it down by 4 dB. In this example here, I have a, a, a song I'm, I produced and mixed and mastered for uh, an artist from California. And um, the measurement uh, that Waves WLM, um, the plugin measured, was minus 10.3 dB full scale, LUFS. Uh, YouTube lowered that program, that volume, by 3.7 dB. So if you take minus 10.3 minus 3.7, you end up with exactly minus 14 dB loops. So that's what YouTube does. It's not a dynamic uh, compression. It's not a limiter. It's just a volume knob that YouTube brings down to aim the full program at minus 14 loops. So I hope this clears up uh, some of the misunderstandings of uh, YouTube uh, levels and loudness. I'm Enrico De Pauli. If you enjoy the video, you're welcome to like it. If you really enjoy the video, you're welcome to subscribe to the channel so you uh, know of future videos. And I'm also available online upon request for uh, mixing, producing, and audio consultations. Thank you for watching. I'm Enrico De Pauli. God bless you.